All right, folks, welcome to the fish dimension. We're here at Flat Swamp, and uh, I actually just caught a bass about five inches long. And so I turned the camera on because at this point of this winter, with this quality water that we've been dealing with for six months now, I have gotten to the point where I'm just not even turning the camera on at all uh, until I know I can find a fish. Uh, so that first catch is, is not on camera, you will not see it, but I'm hoping that I can catch something else from the same spot. Oh, looks like I can. Damn, I missed him. Took a few shots at it. I think going, uh, look, I went to uh, two feet. Yeah. That helped it along, something bit at it again. I don't know why, but they're held up near this bush. So the only spot we've gotten any bites today is right, right out here in front of this bush. So I'm just going to keep shooting at it until I get whatever's hanging around there. But uh, yeah, you want to you want a hard day of winter fishing? Well, here it is. We uh, we just haven't managed anything at all recently. That's why there's been no videos. Uh, I think I'm just going to do an equipment video or a talk at the camera kind of video soon just so I can get something out there. But for now, here we are. We're, we're doing this and hopefully I can show you a fish today. Even one fish will do. That will make a video because you're lucky if you catch anything in these conditions. Had one little point of interest. Uh, we, had, uh, we got our licenses checked by a North Carolina uh, game officer. And... Uh, he looked about as uh, miserable as you might expect someone who is uh, not getting paid to work would be. Oh, here we go. Fish. Winter fish. It's a yellow perch. Pretty decent sized one too. Yeah, no, that's your problem right there. Yellow perch and their crazy yellow perch bite non-bite yeah now now I'm on a multi-species day I wish I could have showed you that little five inch bass that I caught earlier uh, but uh you know it's like I said you know the camera was charging for one thing and uh, <laughs> I, I pretty much just don't turn it on until I find a spot I can catch fish anymore so you gotta you gotta catch a fish to see if you can catch fish or there's just no point in turning turning the camera on, otherwise you, uh, you're you just going to have to charge it for no reason. But anyway, uh, here we go, you know, so that's, that's a video right there. Nice little winter yellow perch, and let me tell you, he's cold as ice. Willing to sacrifice. All right, sorry, but yeah, here we go. Uh, not a species that we see on the channel too often. Wonderful to catch it. Glad to be here doing this now. So yeah, so uh, we're just going to keep aiming at that spot and see what we can get on. Let's uh, let him back so that he can get back to his fish business. Oh, hey. Looks like we're getting some kind of evening bite on. What do you got? Yellow perch. Oh, hey, all right. At least something's biting. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, come show that to the camera. That's a nice size yellow perch. Can't just be happy being a loser. You got to be a winner too, huh? <laughs> That's a fairly decent sized yellow perch. A nice one for this body of water. Yeah, very nice, babe. Very nice. Thank you. He's very cold. Yeah, he's very cold, and I, I love I love the way they look. They're just like the prettiest freshwater fish to I, me. I think so, too. I love their colors. Uh-huh. They're beautiful fish. Wonderful catch, babe. I'll put him back where I got him. All right, I'll tell me you do that. Right. So where was he? Oh, okay. Very nice. All right, well, hey, got a video. Not every day in winter we can say that. I thought worms would be the key to today. It's... All right. It's just the surest fire thing. Oh, now I'm going down. I bet that's another yellow perch because I missed him. Good 
they're awfully spot specific right now. Yeah, yellow yellow perch don't mind the cold so much as as you've seen in many a YouTube uh, ice fishing video. So uh, I suppose it makes sense that that is what we're getting on today. We're heading back to the spot of our last known success, which was Lick Creek. And uh, just had kind of a kind of a neat little thing happen. Uh, first time I ever got sort of legitimately uh, recognized as a, uh, a fishing channel by someone I, I didn't already know. That was a nice guy who was coming uh, coming back, giving up for the day, and uh, he noticed me as uh, that that guy who uh, did the video, Bell at Creek. So that's pretty cool. Definitely encourages me to keep going. We got, oh uh, yeah, we got some minnows today. Let me check out the haul here. About a dozen minnows. Oh, I'm already set up for minnows, isn't that nice? Yeah. Sounds Wonderful. Like Great what I didn't want to do. Poison ivy vine. I had a bite from one right at the end of this uh, deadfall here, but he took it under and I pulled into nothing yet again. I don't understand why they're not swallowing it. I'm giving them plenty of time. Usually by the time they got it under and the bobber's out of sight, if you pull, you got them. Gail just added a nice new uh, green decoration to this white tree over here. Uh, I think it's starting to look really pretty. And then of course down there you got all the red ones. So this whole area is going to be like Christmas. I told her we need to start writing uh, our channel name on our bobbers. It's like free advertising. All right, I'm on a fish. You gotta, you basically gotta let them take it. Really, he's trying to be. Ha <laughs> ha! And this is not a crappie. This is a white perch. Yep. Oh man, I mean, like I let him take it a long, long time. That bobber was under and gone for like 15 seconds and it still only got him in the side of the lip. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, well, let's have a look at this fish. It might be the only one we get to see today. Hope you enjoyed that fight. He almost got hung up on the rocks, uh, on the trees several times. Hey, don't bite me. All right, so here is a fine example of a white perch. You can see he's got uh, no stripes whatsoever, which differentiates him from a white bass. Um, and uh, now there's something with the count on the uh, the spines too, anyway. But uh, yeah, so we got a nice little white perch here. Good fish for the video, at least. And uh, that's here at Lick Creek using minnows. So uh, hey, you know. Any time you catch fish in the winter, it's a good day. Sorry, I'm uh, fawning over it. I tend to do that a little long sometimes this time of year because I, I just don't get to see fish very often. All right, got one. I think it's another perch. Yep. Oh no, it's a crappie. Oh, okay. He just looks small. Yeah, you gotta let him take it a good long time. Like I, I waited quite a bit to actually pull on that. All right. Not bad. He's a little guy, but he's cute. Like a like a perfectly formed little black crappie. 
All right, well, this uh, ought to not be such a bad video after all. <laughs> uh, I didn't want it to be a bad video, uh, not the least of which reason was because uh, this is actually our 50th video on the fifth dimension. Fish. All right, there you go. Little Lick Creek crappy finally showed up today at the spot where they're supposed to be the most lit. I'll take that. <laughs> Always nice to see these shiny little guys. They're like a big half dollar in your hand. All right, get back there, fish. Yeah, in, uh, in commemoration of uh, our 50th video, uh, all the fish get to go free today. We're not going to eat them. About to lose the light here, so I would just like to say uh, from the fish dimension, we'd like to thank you all for 50 videos, and uh, hopefully there'll be 50 more, and uh, maybe it won't be a season during our 100th video uh, where we uh, have such such a lackluster uh, catch. Uh, maybe, it'll be yeah, maybe it'll be a hundredth video extravaganza instead of uh, yeah, fifty video subparaganza. <laughs> Got one. It's right, right here near these uh, deadfalls. <laughs> I am a bit of an asshole, though. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Another little crappy. Possibly even the one I just caught. Now feels a little different, though. Slightly in weight. Yeah, there's like a school of tiny ones uh, hanging out in, in these little uh, this little brush pile here. All right, not bad. Multi-species day, multi-fish day. I'll take that. Crappy are just fun. All right, go back to your home. Well, I'm done.